Batman. I'm Batman. I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> no! I saw you in the mirror first. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. How are nice you? you? That's very funny. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. I brought you something. Uh, I think it's. Um, oh, it's thank you. My glasses. Of shape. I, was, yeah, I was wondering where yeah, they got I'm to. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can make them work. Yeah, it looks. Actually, you look more than John Lennon than <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Matt Murdo. Well, but. better John Lennon than Harry yeah. Potter. Mr. The Knight. First question is, of course, why Daredevil? It's a great character. It's a fantastic character with a great villain, which is even more important. <laughs> that is very, very true. What did you feel when someone told you, here is the script for Daredevil? Well, I didn't grow up in comics, mm -hmm. so I'd never read a Daredevil comic when I got the job. Mm -hmm. And then after I auditioned the first time, I was allowed to go and read uh, the first two scripts. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, th at that point I became very, very excited because for two reasons. One, because I thought the script was so beautifully written and the scenes were so wonderfully constructed. Uh, but also, it was very clear, even in the scripts, how badass this character was. So I thought that would be really fun, you know, it'd be fun to kind of put on some sort of a ninja costume. It's like an actor's dream, I guess. Well, talking about Daredevil, many people think about a certain movie you might have seen too. Mm -hmm. And a new hero will be born. Time to give the devil his due! What did you maybe learn from that movie and what you thought, okay, that were good ideas and that were not so good ideas? You know, you go into any kind of creative venture, whether it's TV or movies, with the best of intentions. You never know how it's going to work out. Sure. and and. Ben loved the character and, and you know, really wanted Daredevil to work. Whether it did or not is, is up to people. I, I will never say anything bad about somebody's creative mm -hmm. venture. Um, but for us, we were doing something so completely different that uh, the movie, whether it was successful or not successful, really didn't enter into our thinking. Uh, since we were really focusing on trying to make a crime drama first and foremost and then layer in the superhero elements. Did you get a call from Ben Affleck? I did not. I, got, I did not get a call from Ben Affleck. From do you mean from Batman? From Batman, yeah. actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman. I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> did you like talk to other like Joss Whedon, who you worked with in Buffy? Huh? I did not have a chance to talk to Joss. Joss mm -hmm. was very busy with Age of Ultron mm -hmm. uh, when I was working on Daredevil. Mm -hmm. um, I got a chance to catch up with him at the Age of Ultron premiere. He had seen a little bit of Daredevil oh. and really liked it, and I loved Age of Ultron. So uh, there's a lot of mutual love there, but unfortunately uh, he was too busy. I would have loved to have gotten his uh, opinions on a few things. Did someone give you like, because there's the comic Man Without Fear? Yeah. Where actually they have that costume you were at the beginning yes. of the thing? Yes, the John Romita Jr. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you, did you had to read it? Obviously I read Man Without Fear, mm. but also one of the great things about getting being cast as a Marvel character is you get given a well I got given a unlimited Marvel account what so yeah so I have on my iPad I have a, a, a little app and I press it and there's I mean okay. hundreds of thousands of comics from every not just Daredevil but all all the characters and so I mean just hours and hours <laughs> of fun you know it's great at least that's a very good uh, yeah. thing to be in a yeah, Marvel yeah, movie yeah. too sometimes we have to do things outside of the law we're gonna make a difference. I know it doesn't feel like it sometimes, but we are. You're blind, but you see so much. I hear things. You know what they call stuff like that? Gifts. So maybe we're gonna see Daredevil on Civil War. Uh, I, I would love to see that. I don't know if it's going to happen purely because by the time we had premiered uh, Daredevil, mm -hmm. they were about three weeks away from starting to shoot oh, uh, wow. Civil War. So that's kind of close to try to jam in Daredevil. So I don't know if it'll happen in Civil War. And honestly, nobody's told me, so I, I don't know. And it, even if Charlie knew, I don't think he could tell me, of course, <laughs> because of the secrecy. I, th I don't, I think if I was gonna, if Daredevil or I was gonna be in, in, in Civil War, I probably know at this point. So mm -hmm. I probably, but maybe not. But there's always the hope that he'll make it in the New Avengers. You've no, I have no idea. Maybe. Of course. Fingers I'm, crossed. I'm Wilson Fisk, and I have yeah, a do feeling. Do you, do you I have think? A feeling <laughs> that if I can do anything for you, 
uh, I would like to see Daredevil do into the war. Do you think Will Smith will make it into the new Avengers? And, uh, he should. As part, yeah. He as should, part right? Why, why do you think is Wilson Fisk, Kingpin, such a great enemy to Daredevil? You know, that's a really good question. I love that we you're dealing with two people who don't necessarily have superpowers. You know, obviously, Matt Murdock has these heightened senses and he's a wonderful martial artist, etc. And Wilson Fisk has this empire and mm. the money and corruption that he can, you know, over the years that he, that he uses. When I was a kid, I used to dream what it would be like to live somewhere far away from Hell's Kitchen. But I realized the city was a part of me. It was in my blood. And I would do anything to make it a better place. <laughs> A hero is only as good as the antagonist, is you have to have a great antagonist. Uh, I really felt that way when I was doing Spartacus with Badiatis and then Crassus, you know. And the way I always approach the antagonist mm -hmm. is at some point I want the audience to side with him and say, well, wait a minute, he's got a good point. Of course. Yes, uh, and, and you're not even <laughs> mind controlling me with the, the, uh, no. <laughs> with the walking stick. Um, <laughs> So, so for me, that, that is so important. And with the story of Daredevil, Wilson Fisk, I think, is one of the great Marvel antagonists, mm -hmm. especially if you approach him as not just a two-dimensional crime lord. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you work in the storyline with Vanessa and you work in that uh, ultimately what he's trying to do with Hell's mm -hmm. Kitchen is exactly the same thing as Matt Murdock is trying to do, but he's just going at it in a very different way. Mm -hmm. Um, that makes it uh, really interesting and, and hopefully with Daredevil mm -hmm. there comes a point in the story where people do side with Fisk even though they, they know mm -hmm. he's kind of volatile he does have some good points I hope that too of course <laughs> You and I have a lot in common We're nothing alike I've heard that you have a lot of friends who are actually actors friends who already played Marvel yeah, characters. Yeah, that's right. Well, for, for some reason, I had no idea why, but for some reason, a lot of the a lot of superheroes at the moment are Brits. Mm -hmm. And um, so... Why is that? I don't know. It's odd. There's a, but there's a, and they've, there's another one. They've just cast Benedict Cumberbatch, I think. As, yes, as play Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. So, so um, I, yeah, I don't know the reason for it, but I'm friends with Tom Hiddleston and mm -hmm. Andrew Garfield. Again, not in the Marvel world, but yeah. I, I know Henry Cavill a little bit, who's in Who's in the DC? We don't <coughs> <laughs> Do you have something like a wish list of characters? Sure. I mean, there's so many great characters. I've gone on record as having a huge love for Stiltman. Uh, I don't think Stiltman is going to make it in because mm -hmm. it's a little difficult to pull off, sure. especially in the world we've created. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we mention uh, Electra uh, in, in passing, not by name, in this season. Somewhere down the line, uh, a few years down the line, would love to see her. W would love to see, you know, Bullseye, Bullseye at one point, of course. Uh, there was the other costume I tried, but there was a bit busy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, Typhoid Mary. Uh, there are just so many great characters that we can bring in. Uh, we've already set up Melvin Potter. Uh, as the gladiator, mm. it's a great rogues gallery, and, and there's a ton of people we could explore. What do you feel when someone said it's a man without fear? Um, if I'm honest, when I got the job, that was a, a, quite worrying to me because if you're going to be with a character for 13 hours, mm. the idea that he is unafraid is probably not very interesting. Mm. It also removes from the palette of emotions or, or, or feelings that you can you can use the courage mm. and bravery. They, they cease to exist. If you don't have fear, you mm. can't have those things. So I wanted to bring to Matt Murdock was a sense that actually he is very afraid. He has, he has fear like the rest mm. of us. But the reason he's called the man without fear is because he acts despite that fear. He, he acts anyway. Daredevil is one of the first of the defenders eventually. Um, do you already have in mind how the other characters will look like and if there's gonna be crossovers? I think there'll be crossovers. With Daredevil, it was a unique situation. Mm. 
since we were the first, the other shows weren't up and running. Mm. Uh, I would have loved to have had Jessica Jones cross into our mm. show, but I was uh, two days away from finishing shooting the finale mm. when uh, they cast Kristen Ritter. So it, we didn't have a chance to bring any of those characters in. Uh, moving forward, I think it's a lot easier to bring some characters from Daredevil into Jessica Jones and characters from Daredevil and Jessica Jones into Luke Cage, Cage. and then into Iron Fist. Um, it becomes much easier once we start going to cross-pollinate the shows. Um, yeah, about the costume, how do you like it? Are you happy or did you say, oh, I like it more, a bit more black in here, a bit more pointy Wh Which here? costume are you referring to? The one we see at the end. The Daredevil costume. I, you know, I, I thought it was great. Obviously, it, 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 it was an evolution. We, we, we had to, we, 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 I had a body scan and we had it all properly mm. made and the company that makes it, it's a, it's a real process, obviously. But where we ended up, it's one, it's very, very complicated comfortable mm. um it's very it's very easy to m maneuver in it and you mm. can both me and my stunt double can do everything that we needed to do the only thing is right here's the thing that people don't realize you everyone asks how cool do you feel in your superhero costume mm. and the answer is you, you feel very very cool the problem is they never want any photographs to be rele released for secrecy reasons mm -hmm. so although you feel very cool you only feel cool in your trailer when you, <laughs> when you go to set, you have to have like a cloak on over oh. the top to hide so people can't get photographs. So you, you don't feel quite as cool in that like, like with yeah. the hurt. I'm, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. a stupid boy. And a hood. <laughs> Do you have any exercise um, thing which I should do? Um, diet. Just okay. <laughs> low carbs? Yeah, low no, carbs. No Cut pasta. bread out. No pasta. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's really great work you did. It's really Thank you. dead level. It's very, very cool. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you very so. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here are your glasses. <laughs> Here are my glasses. <laughs>